Well, apparently I'm live now, but it says unstable. So, we'll see how that works. Oof. Okay. If I get another notification telling me I'm offline, then I might have to stop. I don't even know if it's working well now. If he said cake and then touched giraffe, there's just one option left. Dollet. That's it. So, I choose Dollet. Alright. That's my spot. You lose. What? Did I get caught on this? This can't be. This be dream. What just happened? Calm down. It's just luck. Got cocky. Next time I'll crush him. Good game. You know, my first game is always just a warm up. Now I can really play full strength. Um, what? I thought we were only playing once. Play Spymaster once. It's not that I don't want to, but you know, things to do. Yeah, 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 I get it. Father's duty calls. Uh, I'm barely old enough to enter a bar. She's my sister. If you'll excuse me. That's not what I want. Ah. Yeah. I like this might be where the achievement is. How's it going? How's what going? The translations. Oh. I'll read what I have. Okay. Eternal is my son, and eternal will become. He who not abandons are sacred. Why did you stop? That's everything I've got so far. So? So what? What do you think? I think it's too early to make any conclusions. It doesn't sounds sensible. The language is elementary, almost confused. That's because it's not only an ancient language, but it's also completely different than ours. Some words are probably going to sound silly. Trying to translate a completely unknown language to English is probably going to sound bad. The meaning remains. I think it means something like, eternal shall be the one who remains on our sacred something. Do we take it literally, or is it some 
metaphor. I was wondering that too. But it doesn't exactly come with instructions. You know how they used to write millennia ago. Grand language full of symbolism, alliteration, subtle references, wordplay. I must have missed the memo on that one. What kind of language never gets to the point? It seems really pretentious. And it makes me nervous. Well, maybe they wanted to add one more level of difficulty. How so? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna say this word right. <laughs> Ugh. Obfuscating their writing makes it harder for fools or thieves to uncover the artifact. Making a riddle could act as a screening mechanism. Makes sense, I guess. Or maybe they just liked being pretentious. Anyway, I think it's best to wait until we have the complete translation. Then we can draw our conclusions. I suppose that works. What can you tell me about these monoliths? Are you solving the puzzles too? I'm not sure if they're necessary for the artifact to take effect. But something tells me it's not a good idea to avoid them. Why not? They had to be built for a reason. Well, at any rate, you shouldn't be solving them. How does that help you find Evan? Yet, I haven't seen you walk around a single one so far. One, I don't want to get away from the seashore. Two, I don't plan on touching the water. Three, they're pretty fun. It's the best choice. I won't deny that. I'm lying through my teeth here. In reality, there's something about them that intrigues me. I'm not sure what it is, but I feel like solving them is the only way to find out. Anything back here? Nope. Socks. <sighs> oh. Aww. Like, I'm pretty sure this is how you're supposed to do it. Obviously not exactly how I'm doing it because it's not working. I think I'm just getting the angle wrong. I hate this one. It's the worst. Doesn't it just work better? No! <laughs> I hate this one. Mm. <sighs> Sometimes it just doesn't like 
press when I press jump. <sighs> oh my god. I hate it. I think I did it like once. This is exactly how the first time I played this game happened. Except for ever. And then finally, just once, I got the ankle right. This is the worst puzzle in the game. I hate this one. Oh my god. I'm having the worst time. There's no viewers having to be as annoyed as I am with this silly level. when it just doesn't jump. That's really cool. This is the only part of the game I dislike. This one level. Oh my god! Why would it work? That would be too convenient.
good. I'm not gonna skip it, but this is the worst. Oh my god, again, it would be great if I actually jumped when I wanted to. It'd be greater if it worked. Oh. This is really fun for me. It's like a party. Just dancing. No, shut up. Maybe I will look up a walkthrough. This is the worst. Just to make sure I'm doing it right, because I think it worked the one time, but it's also possible that I just tried so many times that it went, uh, you can just have this. That's not the one I want. There we go. Okay. Let's just do it the way the walkthrough says. God. Okay, jump on this and then under this. This is just mean. <laughs> there we go, silly walkthrough. I still hate that one. What have you? The pool.
so there we go. The monoliths, huh? It's so strange. Should I tell him? I don't know why, but... I could swear... But what would they gain? Uh, thinking about all of this just raises even more questions. Whatever, not my problem. I came here to do my job. And that's what I intend to do. Maybe I should go back. See if there's anything there now. Nope. Boing, boing. Sixteen monoliths and counting. And there are a bunch more ahead of us. I guess it'll be a long night of translations. I imagine we'll stop to rest at some point, right? Um... I don't plan on following you all night. It's still too early to stop. How do you know? You didn't even look at your watch. How strange. My watch has stopped. Is it broken? No, Vanel, your watch isn't broken. If you can read minds, it's probably time to confess. <sighs> Not even the worst psychic would waste his abilities on you. You're just too easy to read. <sighs> now you're my therapist. No, but it's the same face I made as soon as I looked at my watch after arriving on the island. For some reason, neither watches nor compasses work here. Now that I think about it, if Upring had some secret base somewhere on the island, they could have raised an electromagnetic field big enough to interrupt electronic advices, devices, so that way they could hide the island from satellites and radar. Could that be the case? Hey, I'm sorry, alright? I was just joking. Uh, are you mad at me? Oh, no, I was just thinking about something. Where were we? Oh, yeah. My legs are killing me. And I'm hungry. Let's at least sit down for a minute. Please. I can't. I know what you're thinking. You think if you hurry and try to waste as little time as possible, You'll be more efficient, and you'll achieve more in less time. But really, fatigue leads to mistakes, which just cost more time. What would usually take you an hour now takes you three. In the long run, you'll lose more time than you think you're saving. Not to mention, now you'll need twice the amount of rest to recover again. I understand your determination, and I know your little sister can't wait, but you'll only reach your maximum potential if you rest properly without overexerting yourself. You'll feel better and your body will thank you, believe me. You sound like you're trying to sell me something. I know what I'm saying. College teaches you these kinds of things the hard way. 
You win, Vanel. Yay. If my game was set in Spanish for, I think, the next scene, then we get an achievement, but I'm not gonna switch it. I'll go with Treno. Impressive. You hit the nail on the head. What were you expecting? Clover. Never made that move. Hey, Clover. You ever bet on the monster? Never. Does the idea sound interesting? Not really. You could make money. I've done it. Not to be rude here, but your appearance doesn't exactly scream financial advice. You know what they say about appearances. Eh, I like the game, but I don't think it's worth taking too seriously. Why not? You're not bad. I don't know. Spymaster's always just been a hobby for me. I've got more important things to worry about than gambling. Like what? My family. I see. I love playing. For a few seconds, I just forget about everything else. It's a brief moment. A momentary trance, in which I become one with the game. I couldn't live without Spymaster. I've achieved a lot thanks to playing it. Pretty much everything I have. Betting? Yep. Because I always win. Are you sure? Vermicia. You're assassin, am I right? Again? No. No, 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 no. How didn't I realize? Are you okay? Yeah. It's just really hot here. What is wrong with me? Why can't I beat him? Yeah, if my game was set in Spanish for this scene, then we'd get one of the rarer achievements. But I already have it, so I'm not going to do it now. Don't you think? I'd like to agree, but honestly, I didn't pay much attention. I'm telling you, I'm sure it's not my imagination. They're not always getting progressively harder. The difficulty curve is all over the place. I think the strangest thing in all of this is you, Vanel. Huh? Me? Why? Since you arrived here, you haven't stopped talking about Evan, Upbring, or secret bases. And all of a sudden, you start to talk about college. What I'm trying to say is, who are you exactly? Some kind of secret agent? Ah, uh, feels weird when I'm not the one asking. Well, although it me to come to the island, their motives are completely unknown to me. But you do know Evan, right? That's why they sent you? Never so much spoken a word with that. Had you worked with Upbring before then? Never. I give up. I don't get it. Why you? Does it make more sense for, I don't know, a rescue team or something? According to Upbring, it's no use trying to understand Evan. Or at least, that was the excuse they used with me. Yes, Evan seemed to know about me without me knowing. You don't wonder why? I wonder, all right, but I have no idea. Is there something special about me? I doubt it. Maybe he just randomly picked someone. For whatever he wants to achieve. So he wasn't kidnapped. Did he disappear of his own volition? I've already told you, Clover. I don't have the slightest idea. Your guess is as good as mine. When I first arrived, I thought you were here. For a moment, I thought that whatever he was up to involved multiple people. But I've already discounted that hypothesis. Sounds like you're going to be the guinea pig for some dark experiment. Why wouldn't you accept it? Why would you accept a job like that? It sounds dangerous. Terrifying, anyway. Not supposed to say this, but they gave me money. I mean, of course they did. That's how a job works. No, Clover. I mean, they offered me a ton. 
ton of money. More than I've ever imagined making for my entire life. Something tells me you do have something special after all. At least, special for Evan. Or, well, whoever is behind this. You get the idea. But what is it that's so special about me? A while ago I thought, trying to answer these questions just seems to raise even more questions. In any case, that's why I accepted. Money trouble? There's no nice way for me to say this. I just love money. I've always loved it. Ugh. Can't say it without feeling like the scum of the earth. People like to pretend. I don't care about material things. I don't care about money. Everybody wants money. The only difference is I'm happy to admit it. Whether you like to accept it or not, money makes life much, much easier. I like to think that's why I want it, for an easy life, and not just because I'm greedy. I grew up in a family where we lived paycheck to paycheck. Money was always a sore spot for our parents. They fought constantly. Being offered that amount just to come find Evan, it seemed too good to be true, but it wasn't. That's why I don't care that much. I don't care what Evan wants, I don't care if he knew me, I don't care what people think. I don't care if my life may be in danger, I don't care if I'm doing the right thing. If there's money involved, you can count me in. There's nothing wrong in admitting what makes you happy. We all have something, as long as you're not hurting anyone. Maybe I'd hurt someone, as long as there's money, maybe I don't care. God, I'm awful. Sitting with the altruist here isn't exactly helping. The contrast makes me feel even worse, you know. Am I an altruist? Just look at yourself. You're doing this for someone from your family. You decided to help me without asking anything in return. I believe there comes a time when you realize all the things you've been worrying about all these years they don't actually matter. And you pass the time, your whole life willfully ignoring the things that are truly valuable. But that's not what really hurts. What really hurts is that you knew what mattered all along. Deep down, you always knew. You just decided to live your life that way. Believing that later, there will be time for everything else. There will be time for your family later. There will be time for your friends later. Right now, you just think about your problems. Eventually you realize that later is an excuse. It doesn't exist. There is no later. Because it's already far, far too late. In that moment, you realize why you're put on this planet. And more importantly, you realize... You realize the things that are worth living for. The remembrance that make you happy. <laughs> Ironic. Learning the lesson when there's nothing else you can do. But I guess that's how it works, right? I thought I couldn't feel any worse for just wanting money. But hey, congratulations, I feel even worse. Just don't forget those that are important to you. I won't. But on this makes sense, you sound like an old man on his deathbed. I don't know how old you are, but you look like you still have three quarters of your life left. Did I say something wrong? You're completely right, Vanel. Why do I bother worrying? Um, I... I forgot to thank you. You know, for everything. If I had to be here on my own, I wouldn't have lasted much longer without losing it. I think that's most people. One look at this place, I'm sure most folks would turn around. Don't worry about it. Um, we should go on, shouldn't we? What happened to your immense tiredness? On second thought, I can probably keep going until midnight. Which would make sense if I knew what time it was. Whatever. This brief rest was enough to keep going. We can stop when we get too tired. I'll get on. Back! Is this the one? Oh, I can't see. <laughs> I'll assume it's not.
God, I can't see anything. Is that a tower? Ball cut, ball cut. Hey, I know you with the theories. But listen to this. I think Uprink does have a base somewhere on the island. Or they did at some point at least. The tech here is certainly unique enough to pique their interest. And Evan being here makes that all the more evident. Here's what I think happened. Upbring discovered the island and became interested in it a long time ago. So, first they undertook to hide it from the rest of the world. They raised an electromagnetic interference field to hide the island from radar and satellite images, which, until today, seemed to be working just fine. That would also explain our malfunctioning watches. Also, I came up with another thought. Despite their efforts, Upbring was never able to discover the island's secrets. Neither how the energy works, nor how to find the artifact. Why, you might ask. I believe, because of your notebook, Clover, it's the last piece of the puzzle. I was thinking about what you said before, and I think you got it right. This civilization wasn't going to leave riches and treasures for just anyone to find. That's why they created the notebook. In any case, time passed and Upbring's attention drifted away from the island. With, although, of course, they never stopped guarding it. This is when Evan comes in. At some point, they entrusted him with a task they couldn't achieve. And, um, well, that's what I've got so far. I still don't know where I fit. What do you think? Got a blast! What's wrong with him now? Can't see up there. Nicola, where are you? Why am I not getting any news from anybody?
I'm sorry. I just noticed you were there. The scenery here is so gorgeous, you know. Sometimes I lose myself for hours just looking at it. Don't you think this world is too beautiful for us? Huh? It's not Clover. Who are you? Soon our time to talk will come, Dysis. Hey! Damn it, I wasn't able to see his face. How did he know? Could it be? Evan? No, that voice, I've heard it somewhere before. Heard it somewhere else. Sure would be cool if I could see up, because I feel like this might be where the guy is. Whatever. <laughs> God. Why is time going so slowly? 8 p.m. It's almost time. Christ's sake. What is he. Why is he taking so long? God, finally. Hey, how's it going? Since when is this place so clean? Don't tell me you. Not how would I? It was Dices. Of course it was me. Now you have no excuses. We can continue where we left off. I want my rematch. I still have to check on Dices. She already ate, she listened to her song, and now she's sleeping like, well, like a baby. Clover, do you really want to wake her up? I know. You don't need to thank me. Okay. You win. You'll have your rematch. This time, though, I want to propose something. What is it? Nothing special. I just thought we could place a little bet. Is that so? What's on your mind? Since you're so good at this, I'm sure a little bit of risk doesn't scare you, does it? If I win, your house is mine. And you and Dices will have to look for some other place. Your face is glorious. Joking, joking, Clover. Now, really, what I truly wanted was... Sure. If you beat me, it's yours. Joking, right? You know I have no sense of humor. I have to leave here pretty soon anyway. And honestly, I had no idea what would happen to it once I'm gone. Maybe you showed up at just the right time, Vincent. But I don't get it. Isn't it your house? It is. So? Why do you have to leave? And where? Long story. Want the house? It's yours. Of course, only if you manage to defeat me. Which, of course, is not gonna happen little. But it doesn't sound bad, huh? I like this place. No one knows me around here. I could live in peace. And what about me? What if I win? You decide. 
whatever you want. I don't have any money, at least right now, but let's just say I have ways of acquiring things. If you want money, I can get it. Just think about it. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, what I most want in life can't be bought. Does something like that really exist? It doesn't matter. I thought of something. I'm all ears. If I win, leave. And here I thought our friendship was just starting to bloom, Clover. Don't get me wrong, you can visit me anytime you want. What I mean is, if I win, you go back out there, back wherever you came from. See, Vincent, I don't know what kind of fool you take me for, but you don't need to be a genius to realize you're hiding from something. And if I win, I want you to go back and face it. Ha 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 ha. You're a fortune teller all of a sudden. Look, I don't know what you think you know, but whatever. Fine, you win. I'll get out of here. I've got to be the best. I've got to be better than him. I let my guard down last time. This will be different. Surprisingly bright for nighttime. Sort of too bright, I'd say. Also, is it hotter than usual? Water? Could it be? A water treatment plant? Just what was this place?
Aha! Finally, I figured out how to look up and down.
It's called the the moving thing. the little guy who covers that just came up so I've got to put it back on yeah there we go um I actually might go I'll finish this uh, puzzle like off stream Next week, we'll probably finish the game, I think. So, yeah.